All right. First and foremost, um, congrats to the Jacksonville Jaguars on one of their biggest, biggest wins of the season and probably one of the biggest in, in league history. I just got to call it like it is, man. Um, so kudos to Urban Meyer, kudos to Trevor Lawrence. Um, Jag- Jaguars fan the organization you guys is des- you guys deserve this win now on to the bills I I have no words to even explain what the freak happened in this game no words Josh Allen our Josh Allen, not not the Jaguars' is Josh Allen. Josh Allen gets sacked, what was it, three or four times in the game? And how many picks did he throw? I, you know what, hang on. I, I'm, I'm going to look it up right now. Give, give me a sec, give me a sec. I am looking it up right now. Okay. He threw two picks. So Josh Allen's stats, um, 31 for 47, 264 total yards, and two interceptions. Um, uh, Zach Moss was declared out after an injury, which sucked. Um, He only had three carries for six yards. Devin Singletary, six carries for 16 yards. And Josh Allen, five five carries for fifty yards. Um, I, I really have no words. To, I I don't know what to say about this. I really don't. All right, let me keep going on the. Uh, let me let me see some of the uh, defense uh, receiving stats. Uh, Stephon Diggs, six receptions for eighty five yards. Emmanuel Sanders, four yards for 65 yards. No, four, reception, four receptions for 65 yards, sorry. Um, Devin Singletary, seven receptions for 43 yards. Cole Beasley, eight receptions for 33 yards. Jeez uh, Louise, man. I... Gosh. Um... On the on the defensive side, uh, Levi Wallace led in uh, tackles for the game for only with six tackles. Um, Saran Saran Neal had four. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds had three. Let's see. Uh, Trey White and AJ Ebenezer each with half a sack, and Mario Addison with a with a full sack. Uh. Oh boy, man. I need to know how many yeah. Let me let me see real quick. Let me see real quick. Yeah. Josh Allen got sacked four times. Four times. What the freak happened to our O line? No 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 no. Let me rephrase that. What the freak happened to our freaking team? I don't get it. Now look, we're still fortunate we're on top of our division. All right, we're still on top of the AFC East, but right now that's irrelevant. What's what's relevant right now is this freaking game that never should have been the way it was. Holy crap, man! We we pretty much handed the Jaguars their second win of the season. They're two and six. We dropped to five and three. <sighs> all right, I, no, we're gonna uh, look. I know we're gonna talk more about this um, on Buffalo After Dark this week, but I just need to get my thoughts out there and just get this. I I, I need to I need to get this rant out there. Just get it off my chest and be done with it, so we can so we can move on. You know what? Let me get my phone back up. I want to see who we face next again. 
I want to I want to see who we face next. I think it's the Indian. I think we face the Colts next at home. But let me double check real quick. No, we're on the road to East Rutherford against the Jets. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> after today's game, man. I have no idea how we're going to beat the Jets. This is the same Jets team, keep in mind, that beat the Tennessee Titans. What was it, in overtime? The Titans, man. One of the best teams in the, in the conference right now. And the Jets recently beat Cincinnati. Uh, now, I'm sure we're going to be favored to beat the Jets this Sunday, the next Sunday, but honestly, I, this game has, this loss to the Jags has taught me a very important lesson. Do not focus on who's the favorite or who's the underdog, because honestly, there are none in professional sports, especially the NFL, all right? There are no cupcake games. There are no easy wins. This is professional football, bro. And I'll give Jacksonville uh, credit. They came out to play. They punched us in the face throughout the entire game. And they deserve to win. They earned this win. No touchdown scored. Nothing but field goals. But again, well, on either, on either team. But the Jaguars deserved to beat us. After the way we played. We had the number one total offense or something in the league. One of the best offenses in the league. One of the best defenses in the league. Now, I'll give our defense credit. Again, they kept, they kept the Jaguars out of the end zone. All right? I give defense credit. But our offense, man, our freaking O-line. Okay, a, a, a fourth and two play that... Unfortunately, got called back because of a false start penalty on Ike Butker. Dude, if we hadn't, if we hadn't been penalized, we more than likely we would have gotten the first down. We would have had more chances to even get in the end zone, to even get a touchdown. Oh my gosh, man! Like you guys. <laughs> You better go back to the freaking drawing board, all right? I'm not going to talk bad about a coaching staff, all right? I refuse to do that. But you guys got to get back. You got you to gotta get yourselves together, man. What happened to the Buffalo Bills that shut out Houston 40 to nothing? What happened to the Buffalo Bills that destroyed the Chiefs in their home turf in Kansas City, in Arrowhead? What happened to them? What happened to the Buffalo Bills that, despite losing to the Titans, probably had, pr probably had a game that, in my opinion, is, was, is game of the year? <sighs> what the freak happened to us, man? What happened to us? Oh my gosh, man. I mean, come on. <sighs> now, I, normally I just do uh, the Kraken's Lair on the chan on this channel, but I, I had to get this video out. I had to get this off my chest. I had to say what needed to be said. We sucked today. Let's call it like it is. We sucked today, especially on offense. The way Josh Allen played, I feel like we're seeing a repeat of his rookie season. I could be wrong. I don't know. And honestly, I don't care right now. Okay, so we got two we got two games before our think before our Thanksgiving Day against the Saints. We're on the road against the Jets, and we're back home against the Colts. Bro, I don't know how these next two games are going to look. I don't know how they're going to be. Um, oh, gosh. I would love for us to be 7-3 and three by Thanksgiving. I would love for us to be 7-3. and three. 
but but the way we played, I don't know. If, I don't know if we can. We'd be lucky if we win one out of the, one of those two games. Cause I guarantee you, every team, every team on the rest of our on the rest of our schedule, they're gonna look at the. They're going to look at this Bills-Jags game. They're going to look in every detail. They're going to find every weakness in our offense and possibly defense. They're going to take advantage of us. They're going to take advantage of our weaknesses. So we better shape up. We better step up. We better come up with a different plan. Because if we don't, heaven forbid, we lose the next two games. Oh, man. There, there's there's no other way to emphasize how bad we sucked today. No other way. <sighs> so we got to get ourselves together, man. We, we, we need to. Look, I know the season is far from done. We're, we're, it's, it's far from over. I get that, but... We got we to gotta clean up on the penalties as, as well, man. We, we got to clean up on offense, like, for real. We, gotta, we better come up with a different plan for the, for the rest of the season. Because, like I said, I guarantee you, our next, opponents, our next opponents in the rest of the season, they will look at this game. They will look at how the Jags beat us. They're gonna look at our. De- they're gonna look at our offense. They're gonna. Sh- they're. They're gonna show their defense how the how the Jags defense pretty much destroyed our offense. If we don't get ourselves together, they are going to destroy us. No other way to emphasize this. No other way. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm done. So again, congrats to the Jacksonville Jaguars. You guys have earned this win. You've you punched us in the face from from beginning to end. Y- you guys definitely deserve this win. All right. So uh, yeah, let me guys know what you think about 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 this about about this loss, man. Jeez, Louise, I. Ugh. I feel like I feel like we're gonna throw up if I'm gonna keep talking about this. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, thanks for watching my rant. Thanks for watching me go nuts or whatever. But thanks for watching me get this completely off my chest because I really needed to. <clears throat> I don't normally do this on on the uh, on this channel. I, I really don't. Like I said, I cover I cover the Seattle Kraken on here, and we cover Buffalo Bills stuff on Buffalo After Dark um, every week. But I had to get this out there, man, because it needed to be said. Whether people like it or not, whether my fellow Bills Mafia like it or not, this needed to be said. And if you don't like it, tough. Learn from it. <sighs> Alright, guys. Um, I'm done. So, I'll catch you all next time on uh, Buffalo After Dark and the Kraken's Lair. So, um, take care.